You can text us anytime, TMM, hit the space bar, then type your message to the number 77,000, or you can send us an email, show at Z975.com. Yeah. Do we have an email? We got an email. We get an email? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, let's hear it. It's all right. It's called Dating Perks. Dating (laughs) Perks. Yeah. You ever had Dating Perks? Uh, A few. A few? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like... It's like this thing about this person is very convenient and helpful and cool. Yeah, like oh. it, so. If you were like, you were with a masseuse, yeah, exactly. I'd yeah. get a massage. All right, I'd expect a massage. Uh, I'm casually dating someone, and I know this isn't going to be long term. You know, She's, this isn't going to be long term. It isn't going to be long term. Well, that's a good way to get this thing. Started right. She says she's cool with a casual relationship and the benefits of a relationship without the long term commitment and the option to see other people. But it's feeling like recently she wants more. And I know the talk is coming. Yes. Man, do I know your feelings. I've been here plenty of times and see the red flags a million miles away. Normally, this wouldn't be a problem for me because I'm dead inside. <laughs> The relationship ends. I'm fine with it. We see each other out a few months down the road. I say hi. She snubs me because she's hurt. And then we hook up one last time for a late night booty call. But she's different. She's special to me. I've never met someone like this. She can do something to me that no other female has in the past. All right. Sounds like he's going to reciprocate, right? Mm -hmm. She cuts my hair perfectly every time at free of charge. Yeah, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. If I had, if if, if she could cut my hair like that, mm. yeah, yeah, she's the best, hands down, the best hairstylist I've ever had. And my haircuts have been on point and amazing. I can't lose this, but I know I'm going to. Man, yeah. So, so her the, his his dating she- perk is. So is she not attractive? He doesn't say. I mean, he he. It says that they've been. Let's see, dating. I've. I'm casually dating someone. So he doesn't say how long it's been. But casual dating. I mean, the way I see casual dating is, they're probably at least attractive enough to go have some drinks with or grab lunch or something. You know. So I would think she's probably attractive. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It's like, but he what? doesn't want to lose that perk of her cutting his hair, but he also doesn't want to don't commit. Be a, don't be an F boy. Uh huh. Don't. Well, don't. It, it seems like he's on the track to not being an F boy because he put it up out up front that he wasn't looking for something long term and that she was cool with it at first, which well, is normally how it happens. Normally, well, just just don't be one when it comes time for her to say, "Hey, I want this to go further." Just mm-hmm. cut it off. Break your heart and get it over with. It'll be easier in the long run for her. She'll thank you later. Find you somebody else that can cut your hair. Well, or, or pay for it, you cheap. <laughs> so is he being frugal? Or is he being cheap? He's being cheap as hell. <laughs> no, that sucks, man. No, um, that sucks for her, actually. You should feel bad for her. You think so? Not yourself. Yeah. He's, you're stupid. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. No, I'm just saying, like... He's on the path to doing something well, wrong. It seems like that he really likes his haircut. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I get it. But if if you think that she's wanting more, then who's the dick here? Yeah. I mean, it. It that is almost, almost an inevitable part of the casual dating scene. I've, I've done it several times where... You know, you you set the expectation that hey, we're we're not good. This isn't going to be a long term, uh, serious commitment thing. Mm-hmm. We're just going to you know do what we do casually, and we'll just go with that, and you know leave it that way. And normally, both sides will agree on it at first. But as the time goes by, as more time is spent with each other, things like that, then one side or the other begins to kind of catch feelings a little bit. It's not always the woman. Sometimes it is the man. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's when you put yourself in that predicament of, okay, as the person who starts to catch the feelings, do you verbalize it? Because you know the agreement that you had at first. Mm-hmm. And then as the person who isn't the one catching the feelings, when you see it coming, do you go ahead and address it and just you know, put it out 
on Front Street. Well, when you, you don't see want to it, address something that you don't that you not, don't really know yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you don't want to be presumptuous. So, on the so fact, then you're yeah. in that awkward stage where you see it coming as the person who doesn't have the feelings, but you can't address it because they haven't said anything, and you might be wrong. Right. And then you, and then on the other side, you're the person who has the feelings, but you don't want to say anything because of this agreement that you've already had. So now you're both. Um, Kind of dissatisfied with your your position. So because whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? Is it her fault because they came up upon agreement and said, "Hey, we're only going to do this. It's going to be a thing." And then she got attached. I mean, is, she supposed, is it her fault that she got attached, or is it her fault for not saying anything? Well, it sounds like she's going to say something. That, from what his I would says. say that it's very hard to place fault in this kind of situation, just because. It's like I said, it's almost inevitable that it's going to happen. And if you have any knowledge whatsoever of how this stuff works, you should know that going in. Mm -hmm. You should know that you could end up being the one on either side. Because anytime I've had this kind of relationship, I knew going into it that down the line, she might catch feelings or I might catch feelings. And eventually we're going to have to face that and address it at some point if it happens. You know, now. The perk thing, because that's what he labeled it, dating perks. Um, well, he's not really dating. I mean, that was kind of mislabeled. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if you're not dating. They're not like, a, they're not a, a, an exclusive item. Right. Mm -hmm. Monogamy at that point, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think dating comes with monogamy. Mm -hmm. And if you're not dating or if you're not monogamous with one person and you're just kind of fooling around with other people and she's your main piece... And you get a bunch of side pieces. Yeah, you got your main main course. Yeah, I mean it, that's that's not really dating. I mean it's a perk for a FB. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is, an FB. Well, this one seems to be more, and uh, this one seems to be more friends with benefits versus FB. Those are two different things. Friends yeah. with benefits and FB are two different things. FB is like, hey, um. Just leaving the cowboy here in 30 minutes. Yeah, let's meet up. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Yeah, friends with benefits are like, hey, let's uh, let's grab a bite, go back to the house, catch some Netflix. You know. Yeah. Um, as far as the perk, I mean, don't don't stay <laughs> it's with kind her. of essentially the same thing. <laughs> don't stay with her just because she cuts your hair well. That is yeah. uh, that's no, kind of a dick move. That's that's very shallow. Um, I'm trying to think of one of my situations where it was a perk. I don't think I've ever had a perk like that. Uh, but n n I, I, no, I, I'll backtrack. Mm -hmm. I've had a perk, but I've never. That wasn't like the reason. Mm, okay, you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. that was never the reason. That that was never a reason to stay. It's 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 like okay. I don't know. I like myself too much. Mm -hmm. I, I if if something's not right, then okay, bye. I guess it's easier to fall for perks when you haven't dealt with something like that in the past. Like for instance, if I was to start. Um, dating around with a girl, we weren't exclusive, but you know, she was breaking off the money and she was paying for all the dinners and wanting to do this and do that. And, oh, here's a new Xbox for you just because I was thinking about it type of thing that that would be something new to me. So that would be something I would become attached to. And I think that's where these perks kick in with people. And that's why he didn't want to give away the haircut. It's on a smaller scale scale, just, just haircuts, but I'm just saying, People have those perks, and and you don't want to give it away. I, I think a lot of the times the perks are like something sexual. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, oh, that's so good. I don't want to give it up, but mm. he or she is starting to get attached. Um, I'm I'm trying to think of like other than a sexual thing. Like what's an example of? I think money perk? money's a good one. I oh mean, yeah, money's it, a huge one. The one you brought up, money is a good one. Uh, uh, if uh, and if you like concert tickets, then Mo Bradshaw is still <laughs> single and he has concert tickets at his disposal at the radio station. So dating a radio DJ is highly uh, beneficial. So just letting y'all know, he's on Tinder, by the way, as Leron Bradshaw. Uh, oh my God! So hit him up. Anyways, uh, I, I think maybe maybe a plastic surgeon. Yeah, or or a, a dentist. I, I tell oh I tell you where the perks went on what? on a on a younger scale. Fast food workers. Hell when I was no. when I, no seriously, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, yeah. me and my boys, we all had a chick 
at different fast food places. So when we were out and about, when we were smoking the ganja and all that, and we wanted to, we got hungry, <laughs> one of us could hit up our chick either at Wendy's or McDonald's or Taco Bell. We pull up, do an order, and then have a bunch of extra food. Man, and you keep you. We always kept those girls around because we could get a bunch of extra food out of it. Man, if you had a chick at Arby's just for the fries. <laughs> yes, just See, for the Arby like fries, man. Or 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 we a, a chick meats. or a chick that's like a bartender. You know, yeah. if, if you're if you're if you're messing around with a girl who works at your favorite bar, or your favorite club, and you know you can always go in there and get get your drinks topped off for cheap, no. or you know free shots. I would never stuff go like in, that. I would never. If anybody that I'm dating, I would never go into their work and actually visit them. I, no, I'm just. I'm not saying you but that, or that, me. That I'm would be saying, that would be stupid though to do that because I think that's a that's a conflict of interest. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, like or, that situation or specifically. For, like a girl who is dating like a guy who likes to travel yeah. right so she could just gets to a go pilot. on these free trips pilot pilot yeah. something like that yeah. you know you're dating somebody who is beneficial to you even if it's not a love thing now the haircut thing seems really lame dude after we've already named all these other things yeah. that are much cooler i mean radio dj sounds cooler than a freaking haircut <laughs> just saying i don't i don't know uh advice to dude uh-huh. uh tell her as soon as she tells you yeah, the minute she brings it up. As soon as she brings it up mm-hmm. and you just tell her, break it to her, don't don't lead her on. Please mm-hmm. don't lead her on because we don't need another female out here hating on dudes. Right. Please. Because it's going to ruin things for the rest of us. Really? And then some other guy's going to have to like work extra hard to bring her up to trust. Yeah, to get through that wall. Uh, it's just going to be a pain in the ass for someone else. <laughs> just do a, all the other guys a favor and just let her down gently and get it over with. And then she can move on, and then yeah. some really nice. She guy can find some other guy who's now. Now the thing is, you're gonna you're really gonna be pissed off when you see her out with some guy. He's got this amazing haircut. You're gonna be like, damn it, she's cutting his hair, just like she cut mine. <laughs>